So Elon Musk does another stupid thing, and I thought we would talk about it uh, together on the stream today, chat. Uh, what exactly are we talking about today? I want to take a look at this article on Mashable, and it says Elon Musk suing Amazon-owned Twitch for not advertising on the platform. Musk's social media site is suing a number of advertisers, alleging they illegally boycotted the platform. My understanding is he has this like weird sort of like theory that there's this conspiracy behind the scenes to boycott his platform. Uh, it's also really weird that he would suggest this in the first place, considering, you know, this is the free speech guy. He's all about, you know, free speech by all means, or so he says, unless you say cis or cisgender on his platform, then at that point he's completely against it. Uh, but in any case, he's really upset about the fact that like he claims there's this boycott by advertisers against X as a platform, and it was like this consorted sort of conspiracy theory against the platform. Never mind the fact that like <laughs> X has become like a breeding ground for like you know, hate speech and literal fucking Nazis and stuff like that. And let's be honest, what advertisers would want to advertise their products alongside that? Can you imagine like Coca-Cola being advertised alongside like a meme post with like a Nazi swastika or something like that? Like they don't want to advertise on that shit. Of course, they're going to leave the platform, but he thinks it's a big conspiracy. And apparently he's lumping in Twitch now. Uh, Elon Musk X has expanded its legal battle, now targeting Amazon-owned live streaming platform Twitch as part of its lawsuit against former advertisers. On Monday, Twitch was added to X's ongoing lawsuit against brand members of the now-defunct Global Alliance of Responsible Media, or GARM, uh, as first reported by Business Insider. X claims that its lawsuit, uh, in its lawsuit that members of GARM illegally conspired to boycott the platform, formerly known as Twitter, in late 2022, shortly after Musk acquired the company. Yeah, it doesn't have anything to do with your poor management of the company. It was just a conspiracy. They just wanted to, like, take you down or whatever. I don't know why, like, Elon Musk thinks Twitch would have any say in any of this. I mean, isn't Twitch being boycotted right now because of the claims of, like, anti-Semitism and all that on their platform? Aren't they being boycotted for that right now? So what, what say does Twitch have in, like, other entities not advertising on Twitter? It doesn't make any sense. According to the lawsuit, X says that Twitch has not advertised on the platform in the U.S. since November of 2022. So? They've decided, like many other advertisers, that they don't want their brand associated with the garbage that you... What happened to... Do you guys remember when we watched that interview where he told advertisers to go fuck themselves? Let me see if I can find that real quick. Like, he made it seem like when he did that interview that he doesn't care about this shit. So why does he care all of a sudden? Let me see if I could find that clip real quick. Elon Musk advertisers. Uh, let's see. Go fuck yourself. Let me see if I could find this real quick, Chad. Uh, here's the clip, I think. I think this is it. What happened to this Elon that didn't give a shit and told them to go fuck themselves? I, I hope today. they stop. You hope? Uh, don't advertise. You don't want them to advertise? No. What do you mean? If, if somebody's going to try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go f yourself. Yeah, what, what happened to this Elon? Literally saying that he hopes that they, they stop advertising. Let's run it back real quick. I, I hope today. they stop. Literally yeah. said he hopes they stop advertising on, on X. Uh, don't advertise. You don't want them to advertise? No. What do you mean? Oh my god, Emmy's not happy in the chat. Emmy's a big, like, Leon fan, and she's like, uh, not him wearing the Leon jacket, save Leon's jacket from Elon. Yo, true. He, he does, he's like, he's like, he, he's like Leon if Leon was a fucking loser with a dad bod. If, if somebody's gonna try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money? Go f yourself. <laughs> but go f yourself. Is that clear? Uh, I hope it is. Hey, Bob, if you're in the audience. Well, well let me ask. Oh my God. So that, you guys get the point. Like, what happened to that, Elon? Now he's like suing advertisers for not advertising when he told them to go fuck themselves before? That's really weird. 
So they haven't advertised since 2022. Uh, as Business Insider reports, X cites a GARM document in its lawsuit that mentions an executive endorsement from Twitch regarding GARM's brand safety standards. X originally filed the lawsuit back in August. Since then, the World Federation of Advertisers, or WFA, disbanded the coalition of advertisers known as GARM. Uh, in addition, X removed Unilever... Uh, from the lawsuit after reaching an undisclosed agreement with the company. Uh, regardless of the closure of the GARM initiative, WFA says it intends to fight the allegations in court. So they're just like, this doesn't make any sense, honestly. Like, you're the free speech and the free market guy. They're choosing not to spend their advertiser dollars on your platform. They don't like the kind of speech that happens on your platform. They don't want their brands associated with it. So, so what is the issue? It just, you, you ran the platform in a way that chased away advertisers. You fucked up. Now go fuck yourself. Jesus. X is still hurting thanks to decline in ad revenue. Uh, X's lawsuits against Garm uh, came shortly after the coalition chose to bring X back into the fold. One month before filing the suit, X touted uh, that Garm had reinstated X back into the initiative. Uh, making matters worse for X, the company still hasn't been able to fix its advertiser failings. According to official documents, uh, X documents obtained by Bloomberg in June of 2024, X's revenue fell by nearly 40% in the first half of 2023. You gotta remember, Twitter before Elon was one of the most popular platforms uh, when it comes to social media platforms, okay? And they were making money hand over fist uh, because of that popularity. Like, it was like the go-to place for people on the internet to find out what was happening in the world. More people got their news from Twitter than they did from actual, like, news media outlets, okay? And now, they're in a situation where their their revenue fell 40%. That was the first half of 2023. It could be worse now, excuse me. A period of time entirely under Musk's leadership. This was before Musk infamously told advertisers, go fuck yourself in November of 2023. So it's literally what I was literally what I was talking about. Musk said this after a number of major brands like Disney and Apple stopped advertising in response to Musk's endorsement of an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory in a report revealing ads being displayed alongside Nazi content on the platform. And this is true. If you are a user, a, a regular user of Twitter, okay? Like, you've literally seen this stuff. Like, Twitter's always been, like, a pretty toxic place, intentionally or not. Like, their platform literally, like, the way it's designed almost encourages people to engage of, of acts of, like, toxicity and, like, targeted harassment and stuff like that. Uh, but having said that, it's gotten so much worse since Elon took over because he wanted it to become, like, the free speech platform. And uh, it's only free speech for things that he's okay with. Like, one thing that's really weird is he will suppress your tweet if you use the term cis or cisgender because he's so, like, anti-trans and stuff like that and anti-LGBT. But uh, if you say things like the N-word or the F-slur or other very offensive language that would normally get you banned on Twitter, under Elon's Twitter, those things are perfectly fine. He, he's perfectly okay with those sort of things. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, the, the free speech guy, as long as your speech is in line with his views. But in any case, uh, some advertisers have returned to X, uh, seeking to curry favor with Musk following Donald Trump's election win. However, the advertisers, uh, spend, uh, from these, uh, brands, the advertising spend from these brands fell significantly compared to previous levels. According to analytics firm uh, Sensor Tower, the ad spend from X's top 100 advertisers was only 1% more than it was from the last uh, from this time last year, which was around the same time as the aforementioned advertiser boycott. That's one thing they kind of bring up the election and Donald Trump's win of the election. Like, holy shit. Like, you thought... Twitter was toxic before. It's so much worse now. Like if you are a progressive on Twitter right now and you tweet anything about your progressive views, give it a few minutes and your post will be swarmed with MAGA freaks just like responding to you with the most like unhinged shit. Like it is unbearable at this point. I still use Twitter because as a content creator, there's still a benefit to 
you know, engaging on Twitter and driving, you know, traction to my content through there or whatever. If I wasn't a content creator, I, I wouldn't have a Twitter. I'm actually using Blue Sky a lot more these days, and it's so much better because it doesn't so allow that kind of like, you know, anti-Semitic, racist, you know, queer phobic shit that like Twitter allows on their platform. That shit isn't tolerated there. But anyway... So it says, furthermore, ad spend from excess top advertisers is still down a whopping 64% according to Sensor Tower when compared this time to 2022. That would mean that X's ad revenue is doing worse now than it was at the same time period that X claims Garm conspired to boycott the company. So they're suing for this stuff that they're alleging that Garm did this conspiracy to remove advertisers from the platform and they're making less money in ads now than they did when they made these claims. Things don't seem to me uh, to be improving over at X either. In September, multiple reports found that X was facing a declining daily active user base in some of its top markets in uh, like the US, the UK, and the EU. Following Musk's involvement in Trump's re-election, X has also been facing a mass user exodus. Uh, X competitors Blue Sky and Threads have seen millions of new users as a result. Uh, you know, Threads is an interesting one. I have an account. I don't really use it all that much, if I'm being completely honest. But I don't hear a whole lot uh, about Threads. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of excitement around threads it's one of those things that somebody might use it for a bit when they first sign up for their account and then after that they just kind of fall off with it is threads really that active like i'm seeing a lot of activity on blue sky these days but i don't hear much about threads so genuinely interested in people's feedback are you guys using threads and if so how are you using it uh but blue sky i'd be loving me some blue sky but yeah i think blue sky just recently surpassed 20 million users on the site which it's still, you know, small potatoes in comparison to Twitter. But even so, that's that's a pretty big bit of growth. I think at the start of this mass exodus, they were at 10 million users. And it's been like, what, maybe a few weeks and they're up to 20 million? That's insane. Regardless how X lawsuit against Twitch, Mars, CVS, and other former coalition members of Garmin folds, Musk Company faces numerous ad revenue challenges in the months ahead. So... Yeah, it just seems like a big cope, honestly. You ran the platform in a way that chased away advertisers, and now you're mad that the advertisers left. You went as far as to say, go fuck yourself, and that you hope that they leave your platform. And now that they're leaving, you want to sue them? Like, what the fuck? This, this is the most like contradictory thing I've ever heard in my life. You said you're not going to be blackmailed by advertisers you said that you hope they leave you told them to go fuck themselves and now that they're leaving you're mad it, it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense so it'll be interesting to see where this lawsuit goes if anywhere uh but yeah you ran the platform in a very shitty way and now you're suffering the consequences of it so just like you told the advertisers before go fuck yourself my dude